Good day, everybody, and welcome to Give the Get, the Ask the Expert uh, session today. Today, I'm going to be talking about um, where to go these days to get good advice, where to go to, and what authorities to listen to these days, because things are kind of crazy out there. Uh, before we go there, though, I want to take a moment and say thank you to all of our Canadian members. Uh, it is the Canadian Thanksgiving uh, this weekend. It's a Friday afternoon, and most of us are heading into our Thanksgiving weekend. Uh, we will happily give all of our American friends and members a uh, happy Thanksgiving next month in November when it's the American Thanksgiving. So for all of the Canadians out there that are watching, happy Thanksgiving. I hope you have a wonderful and safe weekend with your family. As I mentioned, things are changing at a crazy pace out there these days. Things are absolutely going uh, crazy from all different uh, perspectives. And where do we go to get good advice? Who do we listen to? Who do we not listen to? I'm sure a lot of us are getting a lot of even unsolicited advice from people, even where we may even post something on Facebook and people are commenting on our Facebook posts and trying to give us advice. Um, and, and what kind of authority or where do we go and seek what I'll say good authority or wise counsel out there as well too. Even just look at what I'll say are Cell phones. Um, when was the last time anybody saw a payphone on the street? Or if you went and looked for a payphone, where did you go? And then where did you find the change to even what I'll say, put it in the payphone if you wanted to make a call from the payphone? Um, where's the last time we dialed phone? Most of us uh, and children are growing up with what I'll say cell phones from that point of view. And even to the point where most households don't even have a landline anymore. And that's just an example of where and how things are changing so much. Um, the th few things we need to understand is with change comes disruption. Change will always bring disruption, but change also brings opportunity. So how do we manage the disruption and how do we seek out the opportunity? The other thing about change is that change brings uncertainty and nobody likes uncertainty. With uncertainty though, that can bring stress or can bring excitement what side of it do we want to be on? The thing that you really want to understand when it comes to what I'll say change and where and how to seek, I'll say wise counsel and what authorities to listen to, the more things change, the more things we need to depend on those things that never change. Okay, so the more the things that are changing in our society, the more we need to go back to the things that have quite frankly never changed in our society. And when you look at what I'll say the three major areas that have changed in our society, uh, I'll say ongoingly for the last hundred years, science, technology, and medicine. You know, even what now is going on in the pandemic, all three, you've got changing on the science that's going on in and around the pandemic, you've got changing technology in and around the pandemic, and you've got changing medicine or views on medicine around that. So. Even if you look back, as I said, and I was using the example about phones, over the time, technology has changed tremendously. Science has changed tremendously. Medicine has changed tremendously. And that's changed us tremendously individually from that point of view. It's changed us as a society. It's changed us as a culture. And so from that point of view, where do you go again to seek this wise counsel? Where do you go to seek what I'll say the appropriate authority? The things that have never changed over the course of time is one, the higher power, okay? Whether, whether you wanna call it God, whether you wanna call it the universe, whether you wanna call it Buddhism, you know, the, the, the spiritual benefit that we get from seeking a uh, higher power has never changed. The other thing that has never changed is what I'll say, treating people properly and what I'll say, good behavior. We all know, for argument's sake, that it's never good to spoil a child. Whether that child was born 100 years old or 100 years ago, whether that child was born a few days ago, it's never good to spoil a child. Whether that child lives in Beverly Hills, California, and their parents are giving them all the latest technology gadgets, all the latest, greatest things, a new car, everything else, or whether they live in Montana and the parents are giving them a pony, a horse, things of that nature, it's never good to spoil a child. Why? Because it never does anything right for the child. And so where I'm going with that is 
what are the things in our society that while we've got this massive change going on, quite frankly, never changes. And the other thing is what I'll say, just human laws of nature, like the law of gravity from that point of view, it never changes from that point of view. And when I mean, you know, where to look for authority, where to look for advice, go back to the source. And what I mean by the source is the source is actually yourself. Okay. Some things, it's always better to slow down and make a decision than make a rush decision. It's always better to make a decision when you're what I'll say, emotionally calm, relaxed and at peace than not. And so, you know, we've got all these changes that are going on. And what we really don't realize is if we go back to the source, just going back to us, if we get in touch with whatever our higher power is, again, whether it's God, whether it's the universe, whether, whether it's, you know, spiritual Buddha, but getting in touch with that higher power, getting in that spiritual side of us, we're going to give ourselves a better chance of making good decisions, making what I'll say sound judgments and accepting wise advice. And again, getting back and treating people with respect, treating people with care, treating people with what I'll say love, taking responsibility for the things that we need to take responsibility for and not take responsibility for the things that, quote unquote, we need we uh, don't need to take responsibility for. Again, I hear lately a lot of people worrying about other people. Worrying about other people doesn't do you any good because quite frankly, you can't do anything about it. So taking care of your responsibilities and taking care of yourself is going to put you into a much better place, again, for sound judgment, for wise counsel from that point of view. Okay, And with that, what you end up coming is you get a greater wisdom you get a greater power, you get a greater insight, you get a greater authority over yourself to manage the situation, okay? Think of it this way too. It's about doing the right thing at the right time, not about how you did the right thing or how you did the wrong thing, okay? Too many of us with all of these different changes, we get caught up in how we do things how we're interacting with technology, how we're interacting with the changes in science, how we're interacting with the changes in medicine, as opposed to really, are we interacting with them the right way? Are we making the right choices? Are we making the right decisions? On a scale of one to five, would you give yourself a five on achieving what you want in life? If your answer is anything less than a five, right now, I have something awesome for you. Achieving your goals and living your life out of five isn't easy. Most people aren't prepared to focus, stay disciplined, and do the everyday work that is necessary to achieve amazing results. But since you're watching this, then I'm guessing that you're not one of those people. And this is an opportunity that will change your life. give to get is a global program that brings together world-class coaching and combines it with empowering masterminds and networking opportunities. We provide five-star guidance for the price of a cup of coffee a day. To find out more, click on the link in the description of this coaching session. And that's where, again, we have this infinite power and wisdom within ourselves, yet we so much defaulted to other people, either because of anxiety or because of stress or because of a lack of belief in ourselves or because we continue to live in our past instead of clearing that up and living in our present. And so I really wanted to talk about that today. And, and one last analogy that I'm going to give, because I'm not going to talk long today, is really about, you know, are we smarter than our grandparents? In some respects, you could say yes, because we know more about science. We know more about technology. We know more about medicine than our grandparents did, partly because the technology wasn't around back then. The science wasn't around back then. Okay, The medicine, the advancements in medicine wasn't around back then. Okay, so one could say, yes, you know, we are smarter than our grandparents. But when it comes to being more faithful, when it comes to what I'll say, residing to the higher power, when it comes to doing the right thing, when it comes to raising good children, when it comes to making good moral decisions, okay, when it comes to working on marriages, working on relationships, I would almost say that our grandparents were more focused on those things that never changed and embodied that from that point of view. And as we grew up and as we got into what I'll say today's society, 
with all the changes in science, all the changes in technology, all the changes in medicine. And yes, well, it changed us and changed our society. We went away from those things that never change, which actually keep us grounded, actually keep us, what I'll say, spiritually grounded, keep us behaviorally grounded. And so, again, where I'm going with this is you look at somebody who lives a truly balanced life. They're balanced emotionally. They're balanced intellectually. They're balanced spiritually. They're balanced physically. And they're balanced financially. Those things never change in life. If you truly want to live a good life, if you truly want to live a balanced life, how am I emotionally getting balanced? How am I spiritually getting balanced? How am I intellectually getting balanced? How am I physically getting balanced? And how am I financially getting balanced? Because without money, as much as you know, a lot of internet, a lot of what I'll say web-based companies, a lot of online companies are getting a lot of likes, a lot of what I'll say traffic, a lot of companies, the vast majority of them, aren't making a profit. And if you can't make a profit, you can't stay in business long. So that's, again, another foundation. And so where I'm going with this is stop listening to people outside of you. That doesn't mean don't go seek wise counsel. Seek wise counsel from the people that you trust. Seek wise counsel from the people that are emotionally balanced, spiritually balanced, physically balanced intellectually balanced, financially balanced. Those are the people that you go seek wise counsel from, not the fake news on Facebook, not the news in the media from that point of view. All of that um, comes with what I'll say its own agenda. And all that's going to do is confuse you as opposed to going back to the source. And so trust in yourself, get yourself balanced, go to the source. And that's my, what I'll say quick and ask the expert today before I let everybody get on with their Thanksgiving weekend. Any comments or questions? Everybody, happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Stephanie, stay on, I'll talk to you afterwards.